Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So, today, we're gonna be showing you what a day-to-day -day basis is like having six chickens and a pigeon and what you need to do to take care of them. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so next step, we're gonna have to grab the shovel right there. Now the shovel is the most important part because you can't just do this with like a rake or something like you normally would do because this stuff is going to be really caked up. It's just like you're barely going to be able to get it. So now I'm going to get in and I'll start recording when I'm in there. Peace. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you what I do with the holes here. And let me show you a close up of what the holes look like. So, see this? Hold on. This right here, a squirrel could easily fit through it. That leads outside. See the light? And that's everyone there in the corner over here everywhere so i'm gonna show you how to get rid of those stay tuned and the pigeon could somehow get out i don't know how but i know for a fact she could so stay tuned <clears throat> all right guys so first see all this caked up stuff see how strong it is now hey move away move away See, they're getting ready to get the bugs and stuff that come from under it. Alright guys, now I'm going to record a time lapse so you guys don't have to watch me do all this boring stuff. Stay tuned. Alright guys, now I'm inside the coop. I'm gonna loosen it all up. And then, once you're done loosening it up, group it all up into one spot, like so. guys saw my previous video uh, about digging for treasure inside the coop you guys know what I'm gonna do with this right a ton of you guys love that video I got about 120 views on that something like that and then once you have this put it on top of your bowl or whatever you have to or your platform, whatever you have to put the poop on. Like so. I'll get back to you when I'm done. Peace. Okay guys, so now I got the goodies. You can see there. I'm gonna put it in my freshly planted beans. They're right here as you can see. And this one's a bit older, but I would still consider it fresh. Now I'm gonna set you guys right here. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to lay this down in a good way so it won't fall if I hit it. Now, next thing, you want to crush it up into small pieces. 
Let me get this up like this. As you can see, it's really hard. And if you don't crush it perfectly, that's fine. Because either way, you're going to water your plants. So stay tuned, and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, guys. So what I'm also going to do is not only sprinkle it on the plants, but also the soil around it, even if there's nothing planted there. Because it's really good for the soil, and the soil is healthier, and it helps your roots grow better. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I got the water in here, and I'm not going to water my plants too much because I already watered them earlier. This is just so the chicken manure can get in the soil around here. So, I'm going to water it very lightly. Not too much. I'm mostly going to water the soil around it because that's the most important right now because these are already full of water. Stay tuned now. The next step is I'm going to fill up the chicken feeder. And remember, this is a day to day basis on what you need to do with owning chickens. So, some of this stuff is boring, and you already know that. I get it. But once again, some people, they just now built their chicken coop, and they need to know, like, more things about raising chickens or a pigeon, anything like that. So now I'm gonna fill the chicken feeder. This is a gravity feeder. What it is is something my dad built himself. It's nice and sturdy. Nothing can get into it. There's a door. And it, it uh, what's it called? The nice thing about it you don't have to go inside the coop in the winter because, you know, Minnesota's winter, horrible. Absolutely horrible. No matter which part you live in, still horrible. So this, you can just stay outside, water inside here, and that's all you need. Now, this is going to bring us to the end of the video. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. It'll really, really help out my channel. And that's all I gotta say. See you guys in the next video. But stay tuned because I'm for sure gonna be watching more videos. And check out my other video that I posted a couple weeks ago, maybe one week ago, about the chicken coop and exactly like I explained what it does for your plants and why it's important. It's digging for gold. I'll leave it on the end screen here. Stay tuned. See you guys on the next video. Peace.